Welcome back to another episode of Better Cooking with Horseradish. I'm Chef Laurel Robertson, and today we're preparing a horseradish crusted beef tenderloin with horseradish whipped butter. For this recipe, you will need one eight ounce beef tenderloin filet, three tablespoons Silver Springs prepared horseradish, salt and pepper, three tablespoons olive oil, and for our horseradish butter, you will need two tablespoons butter, two teaspoons Silver Spring prepared horseradish. I have an eight ounce beef tenderloin filet that I am going to spoon on each side about a tablespoon and a half of horseradish. Spreading the horseradish around evenly and pressing into the meat. I'm going to flip that over another tablespoon and a half. Again, rubbing the rich garlic-like flavor of horseradish into the meat product. I'm going to then sprinkle with a little kosher salt each side, a few grinds of freshly ground pepper, Now I will take the filet over to the stove where I will pan sear each side about three minutes. I have a prepared pan that's very hot. I'm going to place my filet right in the center of that pan to pan sear about two to three minutes per side. Our steak is beautifully seared and now we will take it to the oven at a temperature of 400 and roast for five to seven minutes. While our filet is roasting, I'm going to show you how to make a horseradish butter to accompany the steak placed on top. Taking about two tablespoons of butter, which has been brought to room temperature so it's easy to mix, and about a teaspoon or two of fresh prepared horseradish. This will give it a robust flavor and just as a nice accompaniment with the steak that's been encrusted in horseradish and pan seared. Simply mixing this, well blended. At this point you could chill this so it firms back up or what I like to do is place it in a piping bag and create, have a creative finish on top of the steak. In our piping bag we have placed our horseradish butter. I've got a tiny little dish here that will fit nicely in the refrigerator so this can firm up. Taking our piping bag and simply creating a little swirl of horseradish butter in the center of our bowl. This will go to the refrigerator, firm up, and will be placed on top of our steak. Our steak has been prepared to perfection, and now what we need to do is plate our steak, top with our horseradish butter, serve with a side of vegetables, and you have a perfect meal. Thank you for joining me, Chef Laurel Robertson. For this recipe and many more, visit silverspringfoods.com. Please join us again for another episode of Better Cooking with Horseradish.